Welcome to the Consumer Rundown News Podcast, your destination for the people, companies, and trends transforming today's consumer markets. I'm your host, Alec. We begin our show today with some global trade news. Goodbye, China. Hello, Mexico, as America's imports shift southward. For the first time in over two decades, Mexico has surpassed China as the leading source of imports for the United States. Figures show that the value of goods imported to the United States from Mexico rose nearly 5% in 2023, reaching over $475 billion, while Chinese imports tumbled 20% to $427 billion. This shift reflects several factors. Firstly, ongoing tensions between the United States and China, including tariffs, create friction and uncertainty. Additionally, Mexico benefits from proximity and established trade agreements like NAFTA. We are seeing Mexico's manufacturing sector growing, offering competitive production costs and shorter supply chains. This is especially attractive in an era of disrupted global logistics. By sourcing from Mexico, businesses may enjoy shorter lead times and potentially lower costs. However, adjusting supply chains and adapting to different production standards could bring challenges. It's unlikely to be a complete flip-flop. China's vast manufacturing base and diverse product offerings still hold value. But this shift highlights a trend towards diversification and regionalization in trade. Next up, Target is making a move to close the gap with Amazon and Walmart. Retail giant Target is reportedly exploring a paid membership program similar to Amazon Prime or Walmart Plus. So, will this move hit the mark for Target or leave them with an empty cart? Dubbed Project Trident Internally, This proposed program could launch this year, offering perks beyond Target Circle's current discounts and rewards. We're talking free delivery, exclusive savings, and potentially even integrated services from Shipt, their grocery delivery company. This is a strategic move for Target. They're facing stiffer competition from Amazon and Walmart. A paid membership program could boost customer loyalty, increase spending, and generate new revenue streams but the key difference could lie in AI-powered targeting and personalization. Imagine this. Based on your past purchases, browsing behavior, and even social media interactions, Target could use data from its loyalty program to create a hyper-personalized shopping experience. As a customer, you'd see targeted deals, recommendations for items you truly desire, and exclusive offers tailored to your specific needs and preferences. Target haven't revealed specifics yet, but its strength lies in its physical stores and engaged customer base. They could leverage unique in-store perks, early access to sales, or exclusive product drops to stand out. And by leveraging AI for dynamic pricing, optimized product recommendations, and targeted marketing campaigns, Target could create a loyalty loop that resonates deeply with customers to create a personalized shopping journey that feels truly relevant and rewarding. So, what's the verdict? Is this a game-changer for Target, or just another loyalty gimmick? It's too early to say definitively, but the success or failure will hinge on the program's value proposition, pricing strategy, and execution. Next, we got some juicy drama brewing in the breakfast aisle. Hip-hop icons Snoop Dogg and Master P are suing cereal giants Post and retail Kingpin Walmart. Back in 2022, Snoop Dogg and Master P launched their own cereal, Snoop Cereal, aiming to diversify the food industry and give back to the community. They partnered with Post for manufacturing and distribution, specifically targeting Walmart shelves. Snoop Cereal reportedly sold well upon its release, but the lawsuit claims it was quickly removed from shelves, leaving customers frustrated and confused. The allegation is that Post and Walmart conspired to sabotage Snoop Cereal, keeping it hidden in stockrooms and away from customers' eyes. It's a David vs. Goliath situation, with hip-hop royalty taking on corporate giants. On to fashion. VF Corp is planning to shake up its portfolio. VF Corp, the owner of iconic brands like the North Face and Timberland, is shaking things up. They're launching a strategic review of their brand assets, potentially leading to sales or spin-offs. So, what's behind this move, and what does it mean for your favorite outdoor gear? VF Corp is experiencing changing market conditions. Their major brands, including the North Face, Timberland, Vans, and Dickies, all saw double-digit revenue declines in their latest quarter. CEO Bracken Darrell says they need to ensure the company owns the brands that create the greatest long-term value. 
That translates to potentially shedding brands that aren't performing as well or don't fit their future vision. It's a bold move, but VF Corp needs to adapt to stay competitive. Some speculate Timberland or even parts of the North Face focusing on specific product lines could be on the chopping block. While brands like Vans, despite recent struggles, might be considered core due to their strong youth appeal. This review also coincides with CFO Matt Puckett stepping down later this year. A new CFO and strategic review suggest they're looking for fresh perspectives and a different direction. It'll be interesting to see how VF Corp navigates this review and what the future holds for these iconic brands. Finally, Valentine's Day is coming, but for all the chocolate lovers out there, it could be a bittersweet holiday. The price of cocoa beans is skyrocketing. So what's causing this cocoa price frenzy? Well, a confluence of factors is at play. Firstly, we have supply concerns. Ivory Coast, the world's biggest cocoa producer, is facing a potential 24% drop in production due to unfavorable weather conditions and disease outbreaks. This limited supply is driving prices up. We're also seeing increased demand for premium chocolate, particularly in emerging markets like China, further straining the already tight supply chain. The ongoing conflict in Ukraine is disrupting fertilizer supplies, a crucial input for cocoa farmers, and adding fuel to the inflationary fire. These combined factors are creating a perfect storm, pushing cocoa prices to near record highs, which is impacting chocolate manufacturers. While some manufacturers absorbing the costs, others are passing them on to consumers. So don't be surprised when you see higher prices for your favorite chocolates next week. That's all for today's Consumer Rundown News. We'll be back tomorrow with more stories about the people, companies, and trends transforming today's consumer markets. Don't forget to hit subscribe and visit ConsumerRundown.com to stay up to date with all consumer news. And listen to this week's interview with the co-founder of Bezel Quaid Walker. Consumer Rundown News is produced and edited by Penny and Dimitri.